Planet Dolan. Apparently, some people around the world still watch TV, which seems pretty crazy to me. But still, as long as there is television, there will always be things that governments try to censor. Is there anything we'll never be able to see? Should anything even be censored at all? Here are some obscure things you can't show on TV. Hi there! My name is Doopy, and I'm here to tell you some really interesting things that you might not have heard before. Number 15. Hemorrhoids Adverts At 7 o'clock, you sit down with a bowl of chicken chow mein in front of your favorite show, but when the commercial break comes on, you're shown a graphic advertisement for some soothing butt cream to ease the pain of hemorrhoids. Lost your appetite? <laughs> Yeah, that's what we thought. And so did the government of China when it banned all commercials for hemorrhoids and tampons around mealtimes. Number 14. Elvis's Hips In the 1950s, a young Elvis Presley was getting the USA all shook up over both his music and his dancing. An appearance on The Ed Sullivan Show in 1956 displayed Elvis's trademark gyrating and thrusting hip movements, which shocked conservative America so much that crowds of people were even burning effigies of him. His performance on the show a year later only filmed him from the waist upwards to protect the innocent girls of America. Number 13. Swear Words there are supposedly seven words which will always be censored in the US, or at least limited. The writers of The Walking Dead had to use the word screw as a replacement for its ruder alternatives. But the FCC has also imposed limits on even the number of bleeped F and S words that some daytime shows use. In the UK, data has been gathered on words that Brits want censored. Words that most Americans won't even recognize, such as clunge, minge, and bellend. Number 12. Brand Products We're all familiar with product placement on TV and in movies, like when James Bond loudly orders a cool, refreshing Heineken. But sometimes broadcasts have to actually avoid showing or mentioning a product because they can face serious defamation lawsuits if the companies aren't happy with the way their product is represented. This results in writers coming up with things like Happy Cat instead of Hello Kitty or Friend Face instead of Facebook. Number 11. Smoking in 1971, on Johnny Carson's New Year's broadcast, viewers witnessed the last ever advertisement for cigarettes on television. Since the ban, most countries have followed suit, both in commercials and actual shows. This is why famous smoking characters like Sherlock Holmes wears nicotine patches in the BBC series. And chain-smoking comic book character John Constantine had his tobacco habit written out altogether by NBC, although they were happy to show plenty of torture and death on the show. Number 10. Dating Shows The Turkish government has been going pretty heavy with censorship lately, blocking Wikipedia and banning evolution from being taught in schools. In their latest move to protect people from supposedly sinful ideas, the government has banned dating shows, saying that they took away the nobility and sanctity of family institution. They define the shows as programs in which people are introduced to find a friend, which doesn't seem so bad to us. Number 9. Military Secrets if you've ever seen an American film or TV show which features military equipment, vehicles, or locations, that means it has passed the approval of the Department of Defense. Any show looking to borrow any kit from the Army is required to submit the script to the Pentagon, who will force producers to change anything that is likely to deter people from joining the Army, or if anything in the story comes too close to real-life military secrets. Number 8. Sexist Stereotypes After 2017, commercials in British TV will be banned from reinforcing gender stereotypes in accordance with the Advertising Standards Authority. This means ads featuring men being useless at housework while their wife is a domestic goddess are no longer acceptable. 
and depictions of little boys growing up to be scientists while girls grow up to be dancers are also not on. The aim is to break some of the assumptions we have about gender roles in society. Number 7. In-Flight Movies with some airlines spending up to $20 million on in-flight entertainment, it's important that they have material that satisfies their customers. This includes censoring any sexual content, in case you're sat next to an 8-year-old, and removing references to pork on Middle Eastern flights. And it goes without saying that airplane disaster movies are all completely banned. No one wants to be reminded of crashing when they're at 40,000 feet. Number 6. Homosexuality Worried that just showing the existence of gay people will suddenly turn everyone gay, several countries around the world have banned depictions of homosexuality on screen. In Indonesia, Russia, and China, while it is legal to be gay, they have prohibited broadcasters from showing same-sex relationships. This famously became an issue with the release of the Beauty and the Beast movie, which featured a gay character and was banned from cinemas and TV networks. Number 5. How to Make Drugs The series Breaking Bad was well praised for its depictions of crystal meth addiction and also the process of manufacturing the methamphetamine. But the U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency actually had a consultant work with the writers and director to ensure that Walter White's scenes of drug making were not 100% accurate. They didn't want viewers at home to be given the perfect recipe for an illegal substance. Number 4. Subliminal Messaging Subliminal advertising is the use of hidden messages such as quickly flashing single frames or coded messages to make the viewer subconsciously desire a product. While most psychological studies have actually proven it to be ineffective, the practice has been banned in countries like the UK and Australia and is regulated elsewhere. So the chances are you've never seen a subliminal message, but then if you had, you wouldn't know, would you? Number 3. Interracial Relationships A sign of how far we've come, you only need to go back 50 years to a time when the thought of two people of different races kissing on TV was shocking too much of the Western world. In 1968, an episode of Star Trek saw Captain Kirk kissing the Black Lieutenant Uhura, but the network was frightened of public outcry, so they made the actors record a take without the kiss but actor William Shatner deliberately spoiled it, forcing them to broadcast the original. Number 2. Nudity Obviously, nudity has always been censored for TV, although many European networks have no problem showing nakedness during the daytime. We'd have a hard time explaining to aliens why a male nipple won't raise an eyebrow, but a female breast at a Super Bowl show will result in a congressional hearing. The strangest example of censorship was the TV version of the movie Showgirls, in which underwear was drawn onto the actresses using what looks like Microsoft Paint. Number 1. Time Travel in China Bad news for fans of Back to the Future and Doctor Who, the Chinese government decided to ban all movies and TV featuring time travel. The government dislikes the idea of going back and changing their history, something that only they are allowed to do, we guess. Their official statement also added that stories of that type have monstrous and weird plots. The same could be said of thousands of shows, but surely that's no reason to censor them. This video was made possible by our fans over on Patreon. Thanks for your support, guys! Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.